Amen? Amen. I want you to help me with my voice there so that um, I don't uh, crack it already. Hallelujah. Welcome to our visitation. I'm sure you enjoy that um, wonderful sweet praise that was just given to you in worship. Uh, I'm going to do uh, two things tonight. I'm going to continue with the series on invisible um, what do you want to call it? We'll be dealing with how we can handle invisible things that are around us but still influence our lives. How many of you remember that? And um, I'm going to try as much as possible to achieve two goals today. To enable you understand how it is important to understand the invisible spirit world. Om u in staat te stellen te kunnen begrijpen, of dat u in staat bent te begrijpen wat er in de onzichtbare wereld plaatsvindt. You can live your life you can live life and assume and aanneem that everything is going to work out just like you have planned it. That alles zal lopen zoals u dat gepland hebt. I don't believe that anybody plans to fail. En ik geloof niet dat niemand het op uitgestippeld heeft om te falen. I don't believe anybody sees down. En ik geloof niet dat iemand gaat neerzitten. And take a pen. Een pen vat. And think. En nadenkt. And write down how he's going to fail. En opschrijven hoe dat hij of zij gaat falen. There is nobody who does that. Niemand die dat doet. But one thing is clear. Maar één ding is duidelijk. That when you journey in life. That wanneer u reist in het leven. You are going to encounter failure. Maar u mag zeker van zijn dat in de reis van uw leven u mislukkingen zal er tegenkomen. You are going to have failures. U zult mislukkingen tegenkomen. You are going to have disappointments. En teleurstellingen. You are going to experience things you did not plan for. En dingen ervaren waar u niet op gerekend hebt. Tomorrow I'm going to be teaching you how to deal with contrary storms or winds. And morgen zal ik u onderwijzen hoe dat u om kunt gaan of afrekenen met tegenstrijdige stormen. You know, as young people, and you weet als me, we always, when we are going, the wind is always helping us. And wanneer we gaan, dan is het wind helpend. So we assume life is going to be like that. And I think that the life is so shall be. There will be a time when you will come to a point. But there comes a time in the life that you have a point belong. Something will resist you. That each you have will stand. The resistance will be so strong. And that the tegenwerking so strong shall be. That you will do everything. That you do all the things. And you are not able to cross that line. And that you that you need a start shall be to say the line over to to go. And that is the moment. En op dat moment, when people do wrong things, wanneer mensen verkeerde dingen doen, then you begin to realize, dan gaat u zich beseffen, that the world is not governed by what you see with your eyes alone. Dat de wereld niet alleen bestaat of beheerst wordt door de dingen die. But there is another world. Maar er is een andere wereld. That is more real than this world. Die nog echter is dan deze wereld. And that world has great influence on this world. En die wereld is van grote invloed op deze wereld. You will discover. U zult ontdekken. If you are smart. Als u slim bent. That what fought your auntie is now fighting you. Dat wat uw tante bevochten heeft nu de strijd met u aan. What fought your father is now fighting you. En dat met uw vader gestreden heeft u nu bevochten. And when you look deeper. En wanneer u dieper gaat kijken. You will discover. Dan zult u ontdekken. There are forces. Dat er krachten zijn. That are fighting. Die de strijd aangaan. And they are very strong. En heel machtig zijn. And your physical strength cannot do anything. En uw fysieke kracht kan niet. Your money cannot do anything. Uw geld kan niet. Your connection cannot do anything. Uw netwerk kan niet. Your 
Your strength cannot do anything. Your shouting has no meaning. Your quietness has no meaning. Your comfortment has no meaning. Your red eyes has no meaning. But anything you are doing has no meaning. The team is standing there and is not moving. And that thing stands there and bewegt it. And he's dealing with you. And he rekens aan. And there is nothing you can do. And niets dat u eraan tegenaan kan. And if you are not careful. And als u niet goed oplet. You will go look for solution from the wrong power. Dan gaat u op zoek naar een oplossing bij de verkeerde kracht. And the moment you get in there. En op het moment dat u daar binnen gaat. You go deeper. Gaat u steeds dieper. Instead of getting solution. In plaats van een oplossing. That is why I have taken time. En daarom heb ik de tijd genomen. In this short period. In deze korte tijd. To teach you who that invisible power is. Om u te onderwijzen wie die onzichtbare kracht is. The Bible says. The Bible says. My people perish. Mijn volk gaat ten gronde. Not because of hunger. Niet vanwege honger. Not because of lack of job. Niet omdat ze geen banen hebben. Not because they don't have good cars. Of geen goede auto's hebben. Not because they don't have money. Of geen geld hebben. Or don't live in good houses. Of geen goede huizen. Or they don't have certificates. Of geen certificaten hebben. But for lack of knowledge. Maar door gebrek aan kennis. Which knowledge? En welke kennis? Knowledge that will help you to sail through this hard life. Kennis die u zal helpen om door deze of dit harde leven heen te gaan. If you don't have it, en als u het niet hebt, you will sweat in this world. dan zult u gaan zweten in deze wereld. If you don't have it, en als u het niet hebt, a chicken will be pursuing you and you will be running until you run to a place a car will kill you. Dan zult u een kip u achterna zitten en u will be flustaan en dat u gedood wordt door een kip. You know, it's not chicken. Why you eat it? You run the street, it will pursue you. And you try to escape it as you try to escape it. Car is coming with you. Come. Comes an auto and he rides you out. The kid. Can I? As big as Alexander, you know Alexander the Great. I mean, I've heard this story about Alexander the Great. He conquered the whole world. He made the whole world forever. Do you know what killed him? And where did he die? And who killed him? Anaphelos mosquito. And mosquito from the mosquito. There are insects that do not. I want to use that analogy. There are insects that do not eat bread. They don't eat biscuit. They don't eat cake. What they eat is in human body. And there are insects that do not eat bread. They don't eat cake. What they eat is in human body. And there are insects that do not eat bread. They don't eat biscuit. They don't eat cake. What they eat is in human body. And there are insects that do not eat bread. They don't eat biscuit. They don't eat cake. What they eat is in human body. And there are insects that do not eat bread. They don't eat biscuit. They don't eat cake. What they eat is in human body. And there are insects that do not eat bread. They don't eat biscuit. They don't eat cake. What they eat is in human body. And there are insects And that thing that is invisible, and that what so unsightly, we create a disbalance in somebody's body. Zal zorgen voor een onevenwichtigheid in het lichaam van een mens. That we need micro microscope to find out what it is. Waar u met een microscoop op zoek zou moeten gaan wat het dan is. You have to donate your blood for them to know what is inside your body. Moet u bloed afstaan om te kunnen onderzoeken wat er in zit. And if care is not taken, en als er niet goed op gelet wordt, somebody can die. Kan iemand er aan dood gaan? And that is how the invisible power works. En zo werkt die onzichtbare kracht. You can see them. Je kunt ze niet zien. They are there. Maar ze zijn er wel. You can catch them. Je kunt ze niet pakken. But they are there. Maar ze zijn er wel. They only answer to power. En ze reageren of geven alleen antwoord aan macht aan de macht. And when the power is not there, and as the macht er niet is, they will subdue you. Dan zullen ze u onderwerpen. That's why I'm teaching you this. En daarom onderwijs ik u dit. And today we are going to look at some of their assignments. En vandaag gaan we kijken naar sommige van hun opdrachten. But before we go there, maar voordat we zo ver gaan, for those of you who are saying, oh, but we are born again, we are living in the New Testament. En in fact, we are in Christ. I trust we are living in Christ. I don't know. For us, he then says, "Pan, we are born again. We are in the New Testament. We are men. We live in Christ." Let's see the assignment that Christ gave to us. Let's look at the task that Christ has given us. Mark chapter number sixteen. Mark chapter sixteen. 
Let's see the assignment he gave to us. I'm going to read verse 15 to 18. En dan lees ik vanaf vers 15 tot en met 18. I'm just building up my message. Somebody say amen. Amen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Preach the gospel to what? Every, every creature. He that believeth is baptized, shall be saved. But he that believeth not, shall be what? Damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. And these signs shall follow them that believe. That's verse 17. In my name shall they cast out what? Devils. Please they help me with that. They shall cast out what? Devils. And they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall what? Recover. You know, go back to verse 17. Every Christian, apart from traditional churches, they accept the other one. They shall speak in new tongues, isn't it? They shall speak with new tongues. Everybody has said that. But when it comes to the other one, they, in my name shall they cast out devils. They say, ah, no. <laughs> tongue, they agree. In the tongue, they say, they're not going to see the reward. They agree. De handen opleggen op zieken en dat ze gezond worden, zijn ze mee eens. Prosperity, they agree. Voorspoed, zijn ze mee eens. Cast out devils. Demonen uitwerpen. No. Nee. We are born again. We zijn wedergeboren. These are assignments. Dit zijn opdrachten. For every believer. Voor elke gelovige. I want you to, to lift up that your voice and say, Father. Father, I cast out, I cast out every, devil every devil in my home. In my home. Amen. I want you to raise your voice and say, Father, Father, by the realization of this power, by the realization of this power, I cast out, I cast out now, now. Listen to me. Luister naar mij. Without power. Zonder kracht. You are nothing. Bent u niets. That is why. En daarom. He instructed them. Heeft hij hen instructies gegeven. Go to Jerusalem and wait there. Ga naar Jeruzalem en wacht daar. Until you receive power from on high. Totdat u de kracht van boven krijgt. It is that power. Het is die kracht. That makes you to reign in the midst of your enemies. That makes that you can regere te midden van uw vijanden. It's not the big mouth. It is not the great mouth. It's not the shouting. It is not the screaming. It's not the uh, trying to prove. It is not the trying to prove. It is power. It is kracht. In Luke chapter verse 19, he says, "I give unto you what power." For what? Of what you do? can trample on the enemy. Om op de, de vijand te kunnen trappen. How can you trample on the enemy when you don't know the enemy? Wanneer hoe kan u op de vijand trappen als u de vijand niet kent? When the enemy is operating, you don't know he's the one operating. Wanneer How can you trample on him? Weet u dat niet? Hoe kunt u dan hem vertrappen? Lift up your right hand and say, Father. Father. I receive my gifts. I receive my gift of power. Of power. You have given to me. You have given to me as a born again child. As a born again child. And now, and now I exercise it. I exercise it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cast out. I cast out every devil. Every devil in my church. In my church. Amen. Amen. Haranabashen tregede. 
Whether you like it or not, he's here. Of wieder van houdt of niet, hij is hier. And he will resist you. En hij zal u tegengaan. He doesn't care about your makeup. Het maakt niet, hij kijkt niet naar uw makeup. He doesn't care much you have. En hij maakt hem niet uit hoeveel he u hebt. He doesn't have. care about anything. Hij maakt zich om niets druk. He will resist you. Hij zal u tegenwerken. He will fight you. Hij zal u bevechten. He will give you the fight of your life. En hij zal u de strijd van uw leven geven. He's good in that. En daar is hij goed in. But let me give you good news. Maar ik breng u het goede nieuws. Before I tell you his assignments. Voordat ik u vertel over zijn opdrachten. Give me Isaiah chapter 51. Ga mee naar Jesaja hoofdstuk 51. I'm going to read verse 16. En dan lees ik vers 16. Isaiah 51. Jesaja 51. If you are there, shout hallelujah. Als u er bent, roep hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read verse 16. And I'll put my words in thy mouth. Somebody say, the Lord has put his words in my mouth. The Lord has put his words in my mouth. Say like you mean it. The, word, the Lord has put his words in my mouth. The Lord has put his words in my mouth. And I'll put my words in thy mouth, and I've covered thee in the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens, and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou are my people. Amen. When foundation is faulty, as the fundament is good, is there is going to be an accident. If the foundation is not good, as the fundament is good, is you're going to fall. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be falling. But when the foundation is good, but as the fundament is good, is you can build on top of it. Then you can build on top of it. That's why we are going back to teach these things. And then we're going to turn on these things to underwise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Isaiah 54. Just flip to 54. Ga mee naar Jesaja 54. Ik ga het lezen vers 11 tot 13. Om te laten zien wat de Lord gaat doen. Vers 11 tot en met 13. O thou afflicted, tost with tempest, I'm not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair corners, and lay the foundation with sapphires. Is there anybody afflicted? Is there iemand hier die, uh, zeg maar, in, in, in ellende leeft? Of het moeilijk heeft? Nobody? Niemand? Toast here and there. Op en neer, geslagen. Anybody? Iemand? No, it's only myself. Nee, ik ben het alleen. And you are not comforted. You're not comforted. You feel like crying. You have the gevoel om te huilen. Anybody here? Iemand hier. I have good news. Ik heb goede nieuws. The Lord says He's going to lay a fresh foundation with better materials in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody saying Amen there. Amen. And I will make the windows of Agathos and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stone. Amen. Amen. Somebody say new foundation. New, new foundation. foundation. New future. New future. New hope. New hope. And all thy children shall be thought of the Lord. Amen. And great shall be the peace of thy children. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to anybody here? Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enemy is busy. The fiend is busy. You can deny it. You can do it on Kenneth. You can pretend it's not there. And you can say for do not so that there not is. But he's there. But he is there. He's there. He is there. Whether you like it or not. Of you love it or not. Recent studies have shown. 
Recente studies have bewezen. In the UK. In America. In UK. UK. In, uh, in, in Engeland. That the highest growing religion is witchcraft. That the highest growing religion is witchcraft. Is is the highest. That's the highest. Some of you say it doesn't concern me, it concerns you. And some of you will say, but it doesn't me at all. It doesn't me at all. Witchcraft is the most widespread wickedness in the world. Hexerij is het gaat het meeste uh, rond in de wereld. Wordt the most wicked spread all over. Het meest slecht verspreide, het meest breed verspreide slechte. They are everywhere. En overal. Doing wicked things. Slechte dingen aan het doen. Heartless things. Hartloze dingen. And they are minister. <laughs> they are powerhouse is divination. En hun krachthuis is waarzeggerij. That's where they grip you. So grijpen ze u vast. They are everywhere. We zijn over. They are on television. Op televisie. Everywhere on the internet. Overal op internet. On the street. Op de straten. It is witchcraft. Het is hekserij. Once they grab you. Als ze u eenmaal te pakken hebben. It will be difficult for you to leave. Dan is het makkelijk voor u te gaan. They will destroy your life. Ze zullen uw leven vernietigen. They know that their time is up. Ze weten dat hun tijd voorbij is. So they are doing everything. Dus ze doen er alles aan. To ensure. Om ervoor te zorgen. That they a lot of people. Dat ze veel mensen recruiten. And I told you. En ik heb u gezegd. That witchcraft is not only the one who fly. You know they used to say they fly with. Ze zijn niet de enige zijn die vliegen. With long nose. Met een lange neus. With one kind of hair. Met een bepaalde hoed. No, now they wear suits. Nu hebben ze nette pakken aan. They are well dressed. Ze zijn goed gekleed. They don't fly again the Ze night. They fly in the afternoon also. They wear nice shoes. Ze kleden zich heel mooi. Nice makeup. Mooie make-up. But we know them. Maar we kennen ze. How do we know them? Hoe herkennen we ze? They are very controlling. Ze ze houden van controle. You either do it their way. Je doet het op op hun manier. Or no way. Of helemaal niet. They are very manipulative. En ze zijn manipulatief. Oh, they will do everything. Ze zullen er alles aan doen. To get you to do what they want you to do. Om u te krijgen, zo ver te krijgen dat u They are very oppressive. En ze drukken u graag. Very oppressive. Ze drukken u graag. You can't breathe where they are. U kunt niet ademen waar ze zijn. To talk to them, you have to think ten times. Als u met hen praat, you have to pray in tongues and ask God to help you. Just for simple talk. Because you don't know what will annoy them. That annoyance is part of a part of manipulation. And the irritation is part of the manipulation. They bend everything. They must win everything. Because they must win everything. You can smell the arrogance from far. Their arrogance can you from far off all ruik. That's witchcraft. That is hexerij. It's everywhere. It's overall. I want you to lift your right hand. And say, Father, I cast out in the name of Jesus every sign of witchcraft around me. Amen. You come into the church, you think it's not there, it's there. And you think that it's not in the church that is there. You wonder if people actually come to serve God. And you ask them up of men to welcome them to continue. They manipulate everywhere. They manipulate overall. You can't talk to them. You can't talk to them. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to say. Because everything you say is you offend the person. What all is what you say. Ze nemen er aanstoot aan. I'm offended, I'm offended. Ik ben beledigd, ik ben beledigd. They do what they are not supposed to do. Ze doen datgene wat ze niet horen te doen. And they turn around and make you look bad. En ze draaien het om en laten lijken alsof je slecht bent. When you try to show them what is the right thing. Wanneer u probeert hen te laten zien wat het juiste is. That's witchcraft. Dat is hekserij. It's the fastest growing religion. Dat is de snelst groeiende religie. 
Why is it growing? En waarom groeit het? People are looking for power. Mensen zijn op zoek naar kracht en macht. And that power they are looking for. En die macht waar ze naar op zoek zijn. Every Christian has the power already. Elke christen heeft die macht reeds. Because the power we have received. Want de macht die wij ontvangen hebben. We got it the day we were born again. Hebben we gekregen op de dag dat we weder geboren werden. We don't need another one. We have another load. It's the superior power. That is the overheersing the power. Oh, touch your neighbor and say, I have the superior power. Say, I have the overheersing the power. From the source. From the cross. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to know these things. We hold on these things to so that we know how to deal with the enemy. So that we can afrekenen met de vijand. Otherwise, the enemy will be dealing with us without we knowing. Anders zal de vijand met ons afrekenen zonder dat wij dat door hebben. We can be walking with the enemy, thinking we are walking with God. We kunnen wandelen met de vijand en denken dat we met God wandelen. Because if you walk with God, want als je met God wandelt, there is always a sacrifice. Dan is er altijd een offer. Now, what are the assignments of these demon powers? What are the assignments? What is the opdracht van deze demonische machten? Before we do that, voordat we dat doen, let's just read First Corinthians chapter sixteen, verse nine. Laten we eerst gaan naar 1 Corinthians hoofdstuk sixteen, verse nine. First Corinthians chapter sixteen, verse nine. 1 Corinthians sixteen, verse nine. For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many words, and there are many words. I want you to lift up your hands and say, Father, Father, or say like you mean it. Say, Father, Father, every obstacle, every obstacle that has been programmed, that has been programmed by the wicked ones, by the wicked ones, against my life, against my life for the future, for the future, when great doors, when great doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let them lose their assignments. 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 Amen. A great door is open. A great door is open. There are many adversaries. There are many adversaries. You can see the door. The door is not closed. The door is not closed. It's open. It is open. And if the door is open, and as the door is open, you can smell what is inside. That you can smell what is on the other side. Even if you don't see it. Even if you don't see it. You can see it. You can see it. Even though you cannot touch it. Even though you cannot touch it. Even though you cannot touch it. You can imagine what it can do. You can just imagine what it can do. Even though you have not used it. Zelfs wanneer je het niet gebruikt hebt. You see how wicked the enemy is. Ziet u hoe slecht de vijand is? If you don't know where the door is. Als u niet weet waar de deur is. At least you can keep on trying to know where the door is. Dan kunt u zijn minste nog blijven proberen te weten waar de deur is. When you see the door. Maar u ziet die deur. If the door is locked. Als de deur op slot is. At least you were able to get to the door. Ten minste zou je dan bij de deur kunnen komen. And you have tried every key. En u hebt van alle sleutels geprobeerd. But it's locked. Maar het is gesloten. But this one, but this, you have come to the door. You went by the door. The door is open. It is open. You can see the goodies inside. You can all the good see what there is. But there is a Goliath standing there. But there is there a Goliath. Say, come and pass. And he is. Come. Come. Come and take it. Come and pack. And you look at his twenty-four toes and twenty-four fingers. And then you look at the twenty-four toes and the twenty-four fingers. You say no, I will come tomorrow. You say no, no. Then say to you, come tomorrow. Then say no, 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 come now. Pack me. I want you to say, I'm a child of the covenant of God. I am a child of the covenant of God. Or say like, I'm a child of the covenant. I am a child of the covenant. And like David. And like David. Who are you? Who are you? Blocking my success. Blocking my success. Get out. David got there and said, is that the problem? So I'm a covenant child. So David said, is that the problem? I'm a covenant child. So the door is open and this, uh, this uh, seven feet man is standing there. But this uh, young reus is standing there. I'm standing with him. The beauty of it is that he fought him with a smooth stone. And the beauty of it is that he fought him with a smooth stone. 
If, you, if you want to hurt somebody, als je iemand pijn wil doen, you need rough stone. Dan moet u um, ruwe stenen. So that when you throw it, so that wanneer je het gooit, it will have some impact. Dat het echt invloed zal hebben. Best smooth stone. Maar stenen die mooi glad zijn. If I'm to select, I'll select rough stone. Als ik mag kiezen, dan had ik van die ruwe stenen gepakt. But he took smooth ones. Maar hij pakt de mooie stenen, gladde stenen. And he dealt with Goliath. En hij rekende af met Goliath. I declare that you will enter that door in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare you will receive what belongs to you in the name of Amen. Jesus. If you are determined to serve God, als u vastberaden hebt bent om God te dienen. If you are ready to serve God, als u klaar bent om God te dienen, you will be resistant. Dan zult u die tegenstand ervaren. You will be frustrated. Dan zult u gefrustreerd raken. You will be fought against. Dan zal u bevochten worden. You will be harassed. You will be opposed. Things will come against you. That you will never imagine it will happen. You will think that since you decided to serve God. That everybody will be clapping for you. The very day you stand on your knees. Eerste dag dat u op uw knieën gaat. And you lift up your hands. En uw handen omhoog hebt. And you sincerely tell God. En u oprecht aan God zegt. From now on. Van nu af aan. No games anymore. Geen spelletjes meer. I am going to serve you with my life. Ik zal u dienen met mijn leven. Is a private conversation. Dat is een privé gesprek. Before you get up from your knees. Voordat u van uw knieën opstaat. Opposition will start from your home. Zal de tegenstand komen in uw huis. From your home. Vanuit uw huis. You will be shocked that when you come out of that prayer, you will hear this is your prayer every time you lock yourself up there. You are praying, 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 praying. Pray. We don't have bread at home. Met de mensen dat dat u zult horen van u met uw gebed. We hebben hier. Go and buy bread now. Ga brood kopen. You see that it's nine o'clock. I don't care. If you were not praying three hours, you would have bought bread on time. Go and look for bread. Can you, you just came out of the presence of God. And you expect that every problem will be solved. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you forget what you just told God, you will enter a very serious verbal quarrel. Mondering of illusies stappen. Because you are, you think that your position will start from our side. Want je zou denken dat de tegenstand van buiten zou komen. It will start from inside. Maar het begint van binnen. For people closest to you. Van mensen heel dicht bij u. The closest people to you. De dichtstbijzijnde mensen. We fight that secret agreement you made with God. Zal tegen dat geheime overeenkomst dat u met God hebt gemaakt. And if you make mistake, I say, you know, I've just told God. I say, hey, if you tell God, it's not my business. And I say, so I've, 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 Somebody lift up your hand and say, Father, Father every opposition, every opposition to, the work of God, to the work of God that will bring me to excellence, that will bring me to excellence. In, the in the name of Jesus, I cast it out. I cast it out. I cast it out. I cast it out. Cast it out. Amen. Now, what are these assignments they have? Now, what are the opdrachten that they have? Number one. Number eight. Frustration. Frustration. Satan will frustrate you. Satan will frustrate you. You know, frustration is a kind of disturbance that will annoy you. You know, frustration is a sort of last of fallen, something that you get irritated. Frustration. Frustration. When you know what to do. Wanneer u weet wat te doen. How to do it. Hoe het te doen. When to do it. Wanneer het te doen. But you need people. Maar u hebt mensen nodig. And they are not cooperating. En ze werken niet samen. Then it looks as if you don't know what to do. Dan lijkt het alsof u niet weet wat te doen. 
Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. When you are your assignment, your appointment is 9 o'clock, but you left home 6 30. Wanneer uw afspraak om 9 uur is en u bent om half 7 vertrokken. And the journey is half an hour. En de reis duurt eigenlijk een half uur. You want to get your time. Then you get to the road. The traffic is tight. Maar het is zo druk in het verkeer. And you are moving 10 kilometers every 45 minutes. En 10 kilometer ieder 45 minuten. I mean, your temperature will rise. <laughs> when it is winter, you will go down. So will I mean, even when people wave to greet you, you will curse them because. <laughs> and if you see people who are just smiling and enjoying eating their McDonald's, you get angry. <laughs> because you want everybody to experience what you are experiencing at that time. That is the work of the enemy. Dat is het werk van de vijand. But do you know maar weet u dat in most cases, in de meeste gevallen, at the end of the day, uiteindelijk, you will arrive there on time. Dat u op tijd zult komen. But if you remember the scripture that says that all things work together. <laughs> you, you, you just realize, okay, if I get there, they say I'm late. Maybe God doesn't want me to be there. But we never think about like that. It's the work of the enemy. Frustration. 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 You are shouting so hard. so loud. But nobody's hearing you. You want them to see you. You are crying. Nobody sees you. You are drowning. Nobody sees you. That is a demonic frustration. Dat is een demonische frustratie. Is there anybody seeing me at all? Is er iemand die mij ziet überhaupt? No. Nee. The enemy makes sure nobody sees you. De vijand zorgt ervoor dat niemand ziet. And that is when people begin to misbehave. En dat is het moment waarop mensen zich gaan misdragen. Because they think nobody sees them. Want ze denken dat niemand hen ziet. And when they start to misbehave. En wanneer ze zich gaan misdragen. Then people will see them. Dan zullen mensen hen zien. Because that's what the enemy wants. Want dat is wat de vijand wil. You say when I was doing something good, nobody saw me. Now I did something bad, everybody sees me. Yes. En nu ik het slechte doe, iedereen ziet het. Because ja. the enemy didn't want people to see you while you were doing the good. Want de vijand wilde niet hebben dat mensen u zou zien wanneer u het goede, toen u het goede deed. Number two. Nummer twee. A resistance and opposition. We tegenstand en uh, oppositie. A resistance and what? Tegenstand. The enemy will resist you. De vijand zal u tegenwerken. He will oppose you. En u en u op en u te tegen u werken. He will oppose you. Hij zal u tegengaan. He will resist you. En tegenwerken. He will raise people to fight you. Hij zal mensen doen opstaan om tegen. It doesn't matter who you think you are. Het maakt niet uit wie u denkt dat u bent. He will fight you. Hij zal tegen u vechten. Before Jesus. Hij bevocht Jezus. He's gonna fight you. En u zal hij ook bevechten. And the only way you can win. En de enige manier waarop u kunt winnen. Is to resist him. Is dat u hem tegenwerkt, tegen ingaat. How do you resist? Hoe gaat u tegen hem in? You resist. U gaat tegen hem. By standing him. on the word of God. Door op het woord van God te staan, vast te houden aan het woord van God. By showing love that you have never shown before. Door liefde te laten zien dat u nog nooit getoond hebt. By being patient. Door geduldig te zijn. By showing understanding. Door begrip te tonen. Because if you fight him. But also take him back. With the same opposition. Met die same zelfde tegenstand. You will all destroy yourselves. Dan zult u jezelf vernietigen. And that's what he wants. And that is what hij wil. Number three. Nummer drie. Tempting people. As long as you are a Christian, so long you are a Christian, the enemy will tempt you. Shall the fire do you for a lie? Mark chapter one, verse twelve to thirteen. 
Mark 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 Let me show you how he tempted the father. He tempted Jesus himself. And where Jesus in the verleiding from. And immediately the spirit driven him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days. Tempted of Satan as was with the wild beasts. And the angels ministered unto him. Temptation is a tool of the enemy. Verleiding is an instrument van de vijand. So how? Who? Every Christian will be tempted. Iedere Christen wordt verleid. You can't escape it. Je kunt er niet aan ontkomen. Tempted in what? Verleid worden in what? In doing what you are not supposed to do. In het doen wat je niet hoort te doen. And believe that nothing will happen. En geloven dat er niets zal gebeuren. Tempted in what? Verleid worden in what? Abuse of power. Uw macht misbruik. Because nobody can talk to you. Want niemand kan toch tot u praten. Tempted in what? Verleid worden in what? With the opposite sex. Met tegenovergestelde geslacht. Yes. Ja. If you don't control yourself, Als u zelf niet on 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 control, all that God has deposited on you will be destroyed. Alles wat God in u geplaatst heeft, zal vernietigd worden. It has destroyed many people. En het heeft vele mensen vernietigd. Just one is looking to my eye, looking to his eye, looking to my eye, looking to and then butterfly begin to fly, and then some frog begin to jump. And before you know. You jump where you're not supposed to jump. And before that you don't have strength, you are in the And before you know, before that you don't have, your eyes are clear. Bent u weer wakker. And Satan begins to do na 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 na. And you get Satan to do na na And every time he will be reminding you. And iedere keer zal hij u eraan herinneren. You can't speak boldly. You can you can't be moeder. When you want to speak, wanneer u wilt spreken, he tell you hey. Zegt hij hey. Take it easy. Don't shout on me. We are all the same. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, if Satan is your father in law, he has right to visit anytime he likes. Heb je gezegd, als Satan uw schoonvader is, mag je iedere keer op het moment komen wanneer hij dat wil op bezoek. When you drive him. Wanneer je hem verdreven hebt. We leave his talking, so we'll come back. Say, oh, he's talking to me. Dan laat hij zijn stokken achter en hij komt hier weer halen een keer. The best thing is to drive him completely. Het beste is om echt te verjagen, volledig te verjagen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number four, right? Number four. Yes. Obstructing people. Obstructing people. Satan can obstruct you. Satan can u tegenwerken. Obstruct, obstruct, obstruct. block, block. Ja, block. Tegen... block. Matthew, Matthew chapter 16. Matthew is host 16. Let's read verse 21 to 22. Matthew 16, verse 21 to 22. Matthew is host 16, verse 21 and 22. What does it say? Matthew 16, verse 21 to 22. What does it say? From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. He already told them. He told them what's going to happen. But let's see how Satan works. Then Peter took him. Peter did what? When he said took, it's not like, uh, sir, please, can you come? No, 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 no. And it's he, by force. Now no, had one he had died the fisherman. Very energetic. Very energetic fisherman. And he look at this young man. And he take this young man on. So you want to die? And he says, will he do it? You don't understand our custom. You don't know what it is. Then he took. How many is it took? Have you taken your child one? Have you ever taken your child one? Have you ever taken your child one? Have no, it's there. He took him. And began to he began to rebuke Jesus. Let me warn you. 
Later you ask yourself. Please don't talk like this anymore. So At least not where I am. The servant is not rebuking the master. The dienaar is nu de meester aan het bestraffen. Be it far from me, Lord. This shall not be unto thee. Hey. It looks nice. Is that not true? Come on. Is it not good advice? Tomorrow you will hear more. Is it not a good advice? No, talk to me. Is that not a good advice? Yes. Somebody tell me not to die. It's not a good advice. But is it the will of God? But is it the will of God? If advice is not the will of God, he's cooperating with the enemy. You will hear more tomorrow from the preacher. Any advice that does not line up with the word of God, Satan is inside. That is Satan to find them. That is Satan using somebody to block you from entering that your promised land. That is Satan die iemand gebruikt om u tegen te werken of te blokkeren van om u u bestemming in te gaan. Because if Jesus doesn't die, but as Jesus niet dood gaat, then he has not fulfilled why he came. Dan is hij is niet in vervulling gegaan de reden waarom hij kwam. Oh, if they give us this advice, many of us will take it. En als we dit advies zouden krijgen, zouden vele van ons het aannemen. You see, the rest of them want me to die, but this one don't want me to die. You see, the rest of them want me to die, but this one don't want me to die. All of them heard about it, they didn't say anything. Only one, only one, one, one. They didn't hear about it, just one. He loved me so much. He held so much of me. But is it the will of God? But is it in the will of God? Don't allow the people to block you. Hold stand it too that men should block you. Lift your right hand and say, Father. Father. Every close friend. Every close friend or family member. Let's do it again. Some of you are not talking well. Say, Father. Father. Every close friend. Every close friend or associate or associate or family member or family member being used by the enemy to advise, counsel, rebuke, correct. So that I will come out of the will of God. Father, take them out of my life. Take them out of my life. Amen. I tell you, the knowledge will help you. Exactly, you can sell you help. Those you are giving tea, you're supposed not to give them tea. You're supposed to give some of us tea. Tomorrow, try to come tomorrow. Try to come tomorrow. I will illustrate this message for that. Ik zal deze boodschap beter illustreren. Nummer vijf. Nummer vijf. Satan, demonic forces, they frighten people. De demonische krachten maken mensen bang. First Peter chapter five verse eight. Eén Petrus hoofdstuk vijf vers acht. They frighten people. Die maken mensen bang. All forms of fears are from the devil. All forms of fear. Alle vormen van angst komt van de duivel. Fear of failure. Falen om te faal angst. Fear that somebody will be better than us. Een angst dat iemand beter zal zijn dan ons. Fear that we will be poor. Angst dat we arm moeten zullen hebben. Fear that we will die on time. En mijn angst dat we vroegtijdig dood zullen zijn. Fear that we will not succeed. En angst dat we niet succesvol zijn. Any form of fear. Come from the devil. Come from the devil. First Peter five eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary. Some people say, look, as long as you do good, you don't trouble anybody. Nobody will trouble you. It's not true. It's not true. Jesus didn't trouble anybody. Jesus said, "Be not lastly gefallen." He said, "You have adversary. Your special, your adversary, and then he did not." Make you to guess. He tell you who he is. He tell you who he is. The devil. Because if he didn't put him there, you can guess. But he put him say the devil. He said the name of the devil. He said the devil. As a roaring lion, he's not a lion. He's not a lion. But he's roaring like one. He is a brilliant lion, but he brought us in. What is about seeking whom he may devour? It's very old, so you know old lions roar. You mean all the lions? And he's just moving everywhere, looking for him with swallow. And he goes round to see who he can slay. But not you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Fear is of the devil. Angst is 
God has not given us the spirit of fear. Amen. God heeft ons niet de geest van angst gegeven. But we have the spirit of faith. Maar geloof, geest van geloof. I want you to do this. I cast fear out. I cast fear out. Most of the things we do is out of fear. De meeste dingen die wij doen komt voort uit angst. Fear. Angst. Fear of lack of approval. Angst dat we gebrek zullen hebben aan goedkeuring. Fear. Angst. People will wear clothes out of fear. Ook onze kleding zullen we dragen uit angst. What we are wearing wat we dragen is what people will like. Is datgene wat mensen. Because we don't want people to dislike us. Want we willen niet dat mensen ons niet mogen. I use my money to buy clothes for you. Ik gebruik mijn geld. Bring money I'll buy for you. I wear your own. Tell me the Sunday I'll wear your own. I'll buy it. Then that Sunday I'll wear that clothes. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Answer. What number do you have? Five. Five. Number six. Satan can poison people. Satan can mensen vergiftigen. You see how? En dan zegt u hoe? He can poison the heart of Christians. Hij kan het hart van christenen vergiftigen. Satan kan poison. I mean, demon, demonic powers can poison the heart of people. Demonische machten kunnen de harten van mensen vergiftigen. It can poison them with mistrust. En het kan hen vergiftigen met het wantrouwen. Bitterness. Verbitterd zijn. Disloyalty. Niet loyaal zijn. Confusion, verwarring, argumentative, um, in um, in betwist willen zijn, we willen betwisten. Difficult to deal with. Lastig om mee om te gaan. When Satan poisons people's hearts. Wanneer Satan mensen harten vergiftigt. You will know. Dan zult u het weten. With lies. Met leugens. You will know. So it but don't fight it by trying to lie also. Maar bevecht het niet door te proberen te liegen. Leave it. Laat het. It will fade away. Het zal vervagen. One thing lasts forever. Eén ding blijft stand houden. Truth. De waarheid. Somebody shouts hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will the lies hurt you? Zal de, 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 de leugen u pijn doen? Yes. Ja. Will it last forever? Zal het voor altijd blijven? No. Nee. Who will win finally? Wie zal uiteindelijk winnen? The truth. De waarheid. Satan is good in poisoning people. En Satan is goed in het vergiftigen van mensen. It starts with one person. Het begint met één persoon. And we whisper to the other one. En die fluistert de andere. We whisper to the other one. And he flies to the other. And when you stand before them. En wanneer u voor hen staat. You are dead. Dan bent u dood. Because they all have something against you. Want ze hebben allemaal iets tegen u. Is it painful? Is it pijnlijk? Yes. Ja. Will you win? Zult u winnen? Yes. Ja. It's part of the school where you have to go through. Het is een onderdeel van de school waar u doorheen moet gaan. Have any of your loved ones told you I don't know what to believe anymore? Heeft uw geliefde u ooit gezegd dat ik weet niet langer wat ik moet geloven? De wijn die u expect to tell you I believe you say. Degene van wie u vertelt. Ik weet niet wat ik geloof. Ik hoor zoveel dingen. 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 En als u niet sterk bent, dan zal het u vernietigen. Het is het werk van demonen. Het is niet de persoon. De persoon is niet achter u. En de persoon is niet achter u. De persoon is achter wat u aan het doen bent. Maar achter degene of degene die u dient. Hij wil u ontmoedigen. Hij wil u ontmoedigen. Zodat u kunt stoppen. Zodat u kunt stoppen. Dat is wat hij naar zoek zijn. Dat is waar ze naar op zoek zijn. Number 
7. Deception. We're almost ready. Misleading. John chapter 8, verse 44. Deception. Misleading. Lying and deceptions are primary activities of devil. Deception. Deception. John chapter 8, verse 44. You John 8, 44. Peter, Peter. Whenever you meet a liar, you encounter great frustration. Als je een leugenaar ontmoet hebt, dan bent u groot en frustratie. There is hardly a liar who is not a thief. Er is, het is moeilijk om een leugenaar tegen te komen die niet ook een dief is. Because liars are thieves. Want leugenaars zijn dieven. They don't wait until they rob a bank. No, no, it's more small. Niet totdat ze een bank roepen. Het zijn de kleine, kleine leugens. What did he say? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and I hold not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Amen. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. If you want to know who the devil is, this is the scripture you should read. Don't of you looking for good things out of Satan. Please read the scripture. There is nothing good about him. Even if he wants to do good, he cannot do good. Even if he wants to tell the truth, he's not capable. As my car cannot fly. So Satan cannot tell the truth. So Satan cannot tell the truth. No matter the hands we lay on my car, I cannot fly. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. He is not. When he speaks the lie, he speaks of his own. For he is a liar. And the father, the grandfather of it. And he is the father, the great father of Deception. Misleading. There is no fake 60 euro. There is no false 60 euro. But there is false. There is fake 50 euro. Maar wel een valse 50 euro. So don't expect Satan to tell you new stories. Dus verwacht geen nieuwe verhalen van Satan. He will tell you the one you know already. Hij zal u datgene vertellen waarvan u al op de hoogte bent. And then twist it. Ja. En dan verdraaien. And I told you. En ik heb u gezegd. He will encourage you. Hij zal u bemoedigen. Nobody will catch you. Niemand die u zal pakken. You are smart. U bent slim. So you first you take one small step. Dus eerst een kleine stap. He will come by you. He said, I told you. You take another one. He said, I told you. He's digging your grave. The day he will expose you, the whole world will see And you say, okay, how? So, he will allow sickness and disease to enter. Ziekte en zwakheden om binnen te komen. And in treating that sickness, en te, in het behandelen van die ziekte, you will tell the story where it came from. Zal u het verhaal vertellen waar het vandaan kwam. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you think when we pray for people, we just want to expose them. But in threatening to pray for the person, it's Satan that encourages that person. We start speaking. Verleiding om voor die persoon te bidden zal de vijand gaan spreken. Dat is niet een deel zal zijn. Nummer 8, stealing. Nummer 8, stealing. John 10, 10. You know, Satan steals. He steals everything. Hij steelt alles. He will steal happiness from your life. Hij zal vreugde van uw leven zakken. Steal joy from your life. Steal every substantial thing from you. Alles wat substantie heeft zal hij van u afpakken. He will steal money. Hij zal geld van u stelen. The thief cometh not for to steal. Already we know he's a thief. By John chapter eight verse forty-four. Now he comes to do what to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus has come that he can give us life. Amen. 
one of the assignments is to make sure that beautiful things out of your life are stolen. Een van die opdrachten is ervoor zorgen dat de mooie dingen in uw leven gestolen worden. Beautiful things. De mooie dingen. That you don't know about. Waar u niets van hebt. Or you know but you don't value them. Of u er wel van op de hoogte bent, maar geen waarde aan hebt. He will make you to lose them. Hij zal zorgen dat u hen dat u ze kwijt. Number nine. Nummer negen. Betrayer. Verraad. And disloyalty. And and niet langer loyaal zijn, geen loyaliteit. John chapter 13 verse 2. Johannes 13 vers 2. Betrayer and disloyalty. Verraad en geen loyaliteit. Anywhere any relationship is destroyed. Overal waar een relatie vernietigd is. Any level of relationship. Op welk niveau van een relatie. You know that devil has been working hard there. Dan weet u dat daar de duivel heel hard gewerkt heeft. And he will become successful. And then what is successful? When betrayer and disloyalty comes in. When er verraad en geen loyaliteit meer is. This works in the church a lot. En dit werkt vaak veel in de kerk. When people become very critical. When er mensen heel kritisch raken. They don't talk to the person concerned. When er ze niet langer praten tot de persoon om wie het gaat. They talk to somebody else. Maar tot iemand anders. You don't like what is going on. U vindt niet leuk wat er aan de hand is. You don't talk to the person you're supposed to talk to. En u praat niet tot de mensen tot wie u zou moeten praten. You go and talk to somebody from another church. Maar u gaat in gesprek met iemand van een andere kerk. And that person you are talking to. En die persoon tot wie u het heeft. Was formerly in that church. Was formerly in die kerk. Or that ministry. Of in die bediening. And left by himself. En ging van zichzelf. And very very angry. En op een boze manier. And then you don't know. Maar dat weet u niet. He pretends that everything was nice. En die doet zich voor alsof alles mooi was. And now you bring an issue. En nu komt u met een situatie. Are you sure? Weet u nou zeker? That that person will advise you properly. Dat die persoon u goede advies zal geven. It is a time for revenge. Het is tijd voor wraak. And by the time the person finishes with you, and tegen de tijd dat de persoon met u klaar is, you find out that the person has no place for you. Dan zult u ontdekken dat die persoon geen plek voor u heeft. Because he cannot trust you also. Want die kan u ook niet vertrouwen. If you can take something from your church. Als u iets kunt pakken uit uw kerk. And come to them. En naar hen toe gaan. When you are with them. Wanneer u bij hen bent. You're also going to take something from them. U ook iets van hen pakken. And go somewhere else. En ergens anders heen gaan. What did he say? I said John 13 2. Betrayal and disloyalty kills relationship. You quarrel with, okay, let's say you quarrel with your friend. Let's so tell you, you have ruzi with your friend. Why don't you talk to the person? Why don't you talk to the person? Oh, I'm not going to talk. No, I'm not going to talk. But you talk to somebody else. But you talk well to someone else. Who should you talk to? To who should you talk to? Your friend. So that you can settle it. So that you can order it. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to make it very religious, to say I fasted and prayed, and God said I do not talk to that person. It's not true. Bible, that is against the scripture. It's against the scripture. It is tegen het woord. I say I should not, I should not. I should stay calm and peace will come. It must calm and still breathe. Listen. And so, by being under the devil, have him now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Lift your right hand and say, Father, Father any negative thing, any negative thing hovering, around me, hovering around me that will make me, that will make me to betray my friend, to betray my friend in, the in the name of Jesus, I cast it down. I cast it down. I cast it down. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we look at Judas, we think that he planned it. No! Say, look at it. Say, Satan, having now put it into the heart. And it is Staat de duivel. He put it into the heart. Hij had het in zijn hart gegeven. He could have rejected it. Hij kon het geweigerd hebben. But he said, hmm. Maar hij zei, hmm. I didn't see it. Eh? Ik heb het niet gezien. Hey. Imagine that expensive perfume. Kunt u zich voorstellen zo'n dure parfum? And that beautiful girl was using her hair to wash his leg. He didn't even say it's a holy man. I expected him to just kick her, but he was enjoying it. Huh? 
schappen, maar hij genoot ervan. Oh, I can see now. Nu kan ik zien. That's why he went to the 30 pieces of silver. En daarom pakte hij die 30 uh, stukken zilver. To betray his master. Om zijn meester te verraden. At your work, when people come to talk about your your manager, your supervisor, whoever, please tell them go to him and talk to him. I can do nothing about it. Op uw werk als mensen naar u toe komen om over de leidinggevende te spreken of zeg ze ga naar hem toe. Come and talk to him. Praat tot hem. There's nothing I can do. Ik kan verder niks doen. Don't enjoy the story. Geniet niet van het verhaal. But when you finish, you say yeah. Want als je klaar bent, dan zegt u ja. We can do niks aan doen. We can't do anything about it. Why did you enjoy the story? Waarom hebt u er dan van genoten? You are now part of it. U bent ze nu onderdeel van. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number 10, and then I stop here. Demonic assignment number 10 is to kill. Demonische opdracht nummer 10 is om te doden. The death of Jesus Christ was orchestrated by devils. De dood van Jezus Christus werd uh, in werking gezet door de du door duivels. He thought that when Jesus dies, Hij dacht dat wanneer Jezus zou sterven, everything will be over. Dat alles voorbij zou zijn. Before Moses was born. Voor Moses geboren werd. A lot of innocent young people were killed. Werden heel veel jonge Onschuldige mensen gedood. Before the birth of Jesus. Voor de geboorte van Jezus. Herod was so afraid he killed a lot of young people. Was Herodes zo bang dat hij heel veel jonge mensen gedood heeft. A lot of young people are dying. Veel jonge mensen sterven. In our society now. In onze samenleving nu. And it is the work. En het is het werk van de vijand. Why? Waarom? He don't want them to repent along the road. Hij wil niet hebben dat ze zich onderweg uh, bekeren. Don't be part of where they plan against anybody. Wees geen onderdeel van waar er um, plannen uh, gemaakt worden tegen iemand. Because those simple plans can kill the person. Want die eenvoudige plannen kan iemand het leven kosten. Be part of those who give life. Maar wees onderdeel van hen die leven geven. Because Jesus came to give life. Want Jezus kwam om leven te geven. These are some of the assignments. Dit zijn een paar van die opdrachten. There are more. Er zijn er meer. But any time you see these things. Maar iedere keer als u deze dingen tegenkomt. You know it's not the person. Dan weet u dat het niet de persoon is. It is that wicked Satan. Maar het is die slechte Satan. That has deployed his demons. Die zijn de molen aan het werk heeft gezet. To be at work. And all you have to do. En het enige wat u hoeft te doen. Is to resist him. Is hem te weerstaan. With the power that he has given to you. Met de kracht die hij u gegeven heeft. I want to close this service today. Ik wil deze dienst sluiten vandaag. By praying for few people. Door te bidden voor enkele mensen. I said I'm going to pray for people, sick people today. En ik zei ik zou bidden voor zieke mensen vandaag. But I want to pray specifically. Maar ik wil heel specifiek bidden. For anybody who is here. Voor een ieder die hier is. That is frustrated. Die gefrustreerd is. That is hitting the head on one soon go war. Die zijn hoofd aan één muur slaat. And that wall refuses to break. En die muur wil niet neer. And every time he gets there. He sees the door. That he cannot enter. And then he bounces back. I want to trust the Lord. That after prayer today. You will move forward. In the name of Jesus. So if you are here. I want you to stand on your feet. And begin to plead to this almighty God. Begin to speak in tongues if you can. And as we do that. The power of God will move around this place. And then begin to touch people. And if you want me to pray for you. Just come quickly. I will just pray for you. Go back to your seat. If you are frustrated. And you are tired. And there is no way out. And you 
was dry. And, he and he's not walking. Come. There is grace. 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 I said there is grace. And if you are sick, there is somebody here, you have belly ache every day. Come, I'll pray for you. You have always have belly ache. Come. Come, I'll pray for you. If you are here, you receive a bad medical report. Come, I'll pray for you. Come. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. I want you to come. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Come, come, come. They have tried, but it's not working. It's like one step forward, three steps backwards. There is grace here for that. And we will pray for you. And it will be over in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody here. Your sleep in the night is a nightmare. Come. You fight all through the night. I want you to come quickly. You are too come, 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 come. You will know that you, you're almost assuming that that is the way it goes. No, that's not the way it goes. One of them is here. One of them is online. If you are the one, just indicate and send a message. You think that is how it's, you think everybody is that is how sleep is? No, no, no. Sleep is for rest, it's not for battle. Sleep is for rest and not for the strife. The rest of you lift up your hands and begin to pray. You just pray, 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 pray. Where is that person? Come, come, come. We'll pray for you. We'll pray for you. We'll pray for you. We'll pray for you. We'll pray for you.
cast every body upon you. Every body. No matter where it's coming from. I cast it on you. I cast it on you. I leave this place. I leave this place. Free. Free. From everybody. Say Jesus. Jesus. I use the power. I use the power. You have given to me. You have given to me. As a child of God. As a child of God. By that grace. By that grace. I declare. I declare. For my hope. For my hope. From now on, that from now on, every demonic activity, every demonic activity from anywhere at all, from anywhere at all will not be able to operate. Will not be able to operate. In my hope. In my hope. I set in my hope. I set in my hope. Fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost.
Shame. A lot of people today are hiding because of shame. Listen to me. Let me just say one thing. I always go back to the scripture. Jesus said, Jesus said, you know, people came with different sizes of stone. When people hear you have done something wrong, they come with different sizes of stone. Some of them there is nail inside. Some of them there is barbed wire. I prayed one prayer last night and said, Father, let all the enemies walk on barbed wire. All of them, let them be walking on barbed wire. Let them use barbed wire to do their back way. People will come with different stones. Ready to join. But Jesus said, let anyone among you have never seen before. Through the first stone. Do you know one thing? They didn't take their stones back. <laughs> because it has been a load in their pocket. I expected they will go back with their stones. But what did they do? The Bible said they drop it. And when Jesus looked, nobody was there. He told the young lady, go please. And sing no more. Whatever is making you to be ashamed is past. And God has no record of it. As long as you have confessed it and God has forgiven you, it doesn't matter who knows about it. You are a new person. So I want you to begin to declare your confidence now. Begin to say, I will serve God because with that confidence you will gain nothing. Faith works with love and confidence. Amen. If you don't have confidence, you can't pray for me. So now begin to declare, I am bold. I am confident. I am not ashamed. I am moving forward. I am going to achieve more. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. What is before me is more than what I, what was behind. I have greater future. The past is small. The future is greater. I am pushing forward. When Jesus Christ, today we will pray. We are going to sing our song because we are almost there. Uh, we sing our song and you just write your offering and drop it here. We'll leave the offering to you tomorrow. Just drop the offering here.
Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for what you have done. We we'll receive all the breakthroughs, all the miracles, all the testimonies. And they shall be permanent. Amen. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you have done tonight. Amen. We appreciate you, Father. Amen. Jesus, we love you. Amen. Take us home safely yes. so that we can gather tomorrow to give you glory. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And the people say, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you.